So talk about diet a little bit. Hear a lot about fermented foods and things like that. Um, you know, you, you mentioned probiotics and you, the yogurts come to the forefront. Where, what are foods that can help boost our gut health? So I guess what's good first is to define what a probiotic versus a prebiotic is because sometimes people don't actually know that. Probiotic is actually a good guy bacteria that helps keep the balance in the microbiome. A prebiotic you can think of as food for those probiotics. So they are a, like fertilizer to help uh, keep those good bacteria growing and doing all the good stuff that we want them to. And so there are prebiotic foods and there are probiotic foods. Um, and we want to try to eat uh, as many of these as we can in, in our regular nutrition plan routine. You know, even if you can have one, of, uh, one probiotic food a day, that would be great. Um, probiotic foods are not just yogurt. I think, you know, that's kind of like uh, uh, an example of the food industry, you know, gets an idea and then they just go crazy with it. And now we have all these probiotic yogurts, but you got to look at uh, how much probiotics is in it, number one. Is it really probiotic? And how much sugar is in it? Because that's where you can get caught in a little bit of a mess. Because some of these yogurts may have 16 or 18 grams of sugar in it, and then it's kind of like I don't really know what the point of that was. So you know, there's kefir, uh, which is a probiotic yogurt drink. Um, uh, there's kimchi and sauerkraut and um, uh, apple cider vinegar. You know, different kinds of things like that that you can use and integrate into your regular nutrition plan to kind of help, uh, you know, inoculate the microbiome so that you get good bacteria in the gut as well.